Yeah. I want to uh, push the baby. It's gonna hurt it. Girl, you're scaring me, girl. Come on. Are you actually nursing? Clara, you're gonna step on him. Her. Him. Whatever it is. I need to help this one. Her. It's Tuesday, the 22nd, and I am late to get them out. And they're kind of upset at me. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Oh, are you in a bad mood? Oh, you're fighting for your rights, huh? Clara, what is going on? Ooh. What's up with that liquor? Should I go check you? Okay, let me go check you. Okay. Now you lost your ligament. <laughs> now finally, today is the day. And you're restless. <laughs> Her ligaments are completely gone and the goo feeling came back. So you're ready to have babies? Are you hungry? I run out of um, alfalfa pellet, so I'm gonna give the girls grain. Don't typically do this. I thought I had another bag, but when I went to check in the shed, I don't. Just to recap, today is Tuesday the 22nd and now Clara is in labor. Now I stayed with her inside for a while, I didn't want to let her out the kidding pen this morning. She is pretty much restless, she's nervous, she is doing the baby talk, she's also um, licking everything which tells me that she is in her first part of labor so it could take hours for her to get to the second part which is when she gets the discharge and more than likely the urge to, bur to push there was nothing I could do to comfort her so I brushed her I spent time with her try to be calm and comforting but she was very very restless I figured that since there were no other signs of this is gonna happen now I was gonna let her out for a little bit and I'm gonna sit with her here and make sure she doesn't start uh, pushing or anything like that I took quite a few pictures of her and her udder and I thought it'd be nice to have on the website uh, showing her pregnancy and her udder before kidding and then we'll have a picture after kidding. I don't want to leave her by herself because you know I really don't know how fast she changes from one stage to the next. It's pretty warmish because the sun is still there. Once it goes over the trees, it's over, but probably somewhere in the 50s. So it's, it's not cold and it's not super, super warm. Um, but we are getting a cold snap starting tonight. Of course we are. 
and uh, so I want to see what happens I want to see how cold we're gonna get and I wish that she has this babies before the night time so that way we can evaluate by then what we're doing the last thing I want is bottle babies and not because there are a lot of work or anything like that but I really enjoy seeing the bond between mom and kids and I think that's something precious so I hope I don't have to end up with bottle babies because of this cold weather or so. It is 1.17. I put her inside the pen. She's gonna interrupt me every word I say. Uh, and she's been having contractions. She's been up and down. She's kind of upset and restless still. She hasn't quieted down much and um, she really wants to get out of here. And it's super cold outside. <laughs> It's, it doesn't look that cold because we still have some sun and everything, but it's super, super cold to the point that I have a couple of hoodies, like super warm hoodies, and I have this jacket, and I probably have to go put some other layer of pants, and maybe even bring a blanket because I am super, super cold, which again makes me nervous because unless I cover that window tonight and stay in here and know that she, you know, she'll be able to keep those babies warm, I just, I don't want to take them in and make them into bottle babies. I really <laughs> want them to bond with her and Clara be able to defend them in the pen when they're having trouble with other goats. Um, I think I think it's the best way to raise babies if you're planning to keep any of them. She's just no fun. She's just no fun when she's in labor. No fun at all. Can I look back there? Look how much she dropped. I mean, she's been dropping for the last few days. But can you see that indentation there? And she's deep buddy. <laughs> so she doesn't look pregnant anymore because of how much she dropped. Although if you know Clara not being pregnant, you know she's a skinny legend and she's always <laughs> really hard to put on some weight. It really is. anybody really have fun during labor but she's definitely not having the best day ever we have Annabelle right there she is the own call nurse and bodyguard <laughs> she won't let anybody come in good job annie good job hey guys it's 3 30. <laughs> i'm pretty sure that we're in the 20s with a beautiful <laughs> sun shining over the mountain but not here it is so cold. I mean, I just took off my hat. I have hat and gloves and everything. And I am going to close the door, put the girls into the other stall and just put them in for the night. Vera is closer to delivering those babies. She is not as chatty as you can see. She got over that. And she's a little bit more focused on the pain and dealing with that. So 
I'm gonna put everyone in and close that door because I'm telling you, my toes, I don't think I can feel them anymore. And then I'll show you when she's having a contraction, the easiest way to notice it is everything gets wrinkly and you won't be able to see her vulva. It's everything kind of sinks in, including her butt area. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see with this light, but can you see how everything is wrinkly and sunken in? Oh, Clara. You have to pick the coldest day, right? Coldest night of the winter to have these babies. video shoot. You're crankier than half of the girls at high school. Don't look at me like that. Um, um, how did it go? How did I start it? You good there? My bad. And I got lied to by my mother. And I hope you're watching this so I can tell you that you lied to me. You lied to me. I hope you see this. Anyway, you said you'd go to the yurt. Oh, you lied to me. You lied to me. How dare you? Oh, there she is. Look who decided to show. You. The monster. I think it's six o'clock in the afternoon. When I put it. When I put in an iMovie, the date and time, it will tell me exactly. But my phone died. That it helps a lot. But at least for the time, my watch is dead. And Clara is sitting on me. As she is progressing. She's finally getting close. It's going to be like a campfire <laughs> lighting situation. But uh, it's super, super cold. It's super, super cold. So I brought blankets and a hat that is backwards or yeah, it's not right. I'm thankful that I made dinner at lunch. So everyone was able to eat dinner. I think she now quiet down and I think she means the business right now. This looks very creepy. There she is. Quiet and trying to deal with the pain. I mean I gotta show you this because this is unbelievable. I feel like she's gonna break her water in my face because, hey, I'm right here. Why do I have to look at your back end area at all times? And every time she has a contraction, it's almost like I can feel water. I hope she doesn't really break her water on top of me. That wouldn't be awesome. Seems like she wants to lay down. Of course she's gonna sit on me. Contractions are pretty strong. They've been strong for a while. But she has no urge to push. You wanna lay down? You can lay down by me if you want. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. You should see her face. <laughs> What are you doing? 
Are you focusing on something? Starting to stretch one leg. I feel like she wants to. I feel like she wants to deliver these babies on top of me. It seems like she is pushing them into place. I don't know if you can see. Seeing how she's sitting like a dog. <sighs> then she gets the contraction, the hard ones, and she gets up. So I think we're rather close, sir. I don't know how that works, but she'll give two, three pushes like this. Look, you can see it there. But this is not active pushing. Active pushing includes. Her neck, her legs, and the water hasn't been broken. Zach, she's keeping me super warm by deciding to lay down by me. She kind of pushes her head into my head. She likes to put something against me. In this case, her bum. And when she's in pain, I don't want to flash this in her eyes, but she puts her head like that and throws it back. Oh, there you go. She's starting to push. Give birth on top of my blanket. Okay, I guess. No, you're doing good. She has a little bit of gold there. Are you actually nursing? <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen you do. She said, I want that milk. I want my energy drink, my own milk. Sometimes, especially when it's this cold, the babies can die. You're doing good, Clara. You're doing good. You're doing good. Good job. Good job, Clara. Good job. You're okay. 
Gotta keep pushing those babies out. You're done, God. You're doing so good. Come on, Clara. You can do this. Otherwise, I have to go in. Fall asleep, Mama. There you go. Good job. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Come on. You can do it. Should I predict this by putting this under here so you can have a baby? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna say that the baby's coming, okay? You just had to have to push it out. You're doing good. You're doing good, Mama. Good girl. Good girl. I know you're tired, but you can't fall asleep, okay? There's some white stuff coming out now that is very visible. If I had my other flashlight, maybe I have to do it at an angle. Oh, there we go. Okay, good job, Clara. Good job, girl. Good job. It's a good pushing. Good pushing. You are doing great, Clara. of the book first. You can do it right there. You don't have to get out. Are you really looking to drink your own milk? There's no baby yet, Mama. There's no baby yet. We have to push the baby out, remember? You're gonna... You're gonna do great. Yeah, you're gonna do great. I'm using the wrong gloves. Oh my gosh, Clara, look at this beautiful baby. Ali, uh, I need to help this baby. Clara, you're gonna step on him. Her. Him. Whatever it is. Oh, there's another one coming. I need to help this one.
good girl. You're a good oh, mama. That's another one. You're a good oh, mama. <laughs> I want oh, she's it. gonna push the baby. She's gonna hurt it. Mm -hmm. Good girl, Clara. Good girl. It's cold, huh? You're cold. Ali, make sure she, he, he or she is not sitting on like liquid. If you need a new towel, grab a new towel. Look at his eyes. Baby number two. It's a tiny white boy. I mean black boy. <laughs> it's alright. Come on. You got this. You're doing good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Claire. You can do it. <laughs> oh, this is a bigger one. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. <laughs> There you go. <coughs> Say hi to your baby. Make sure she he is fine. Oh, you go. I'm gonna, hold it. I'm no. gonna see if I find something for that door. You have like light dark. You can stand up in here if you want. Turn on. Yes. Oh my gosh! Look at him. He has he has a gray ear. Do you think that's all of them? Do you think she has another uh, one? She might have another one. Let me see. What time? Mm, she might. Oh, I think so. I think she has one more. It's right here. The teeth is right here, baby. You're looking in the wrong place, my love. It's her. Leave it alone. Come here. Right here. Have a cold mouth. Let me see. Oh, you're good. You missed it. Look, I'm gonna turn. Clear. No one No one Go eat. I think. What's that going on here? I don't know. Uh, the placenta. Okay. Va a salir después de eso. Eso es lo que la empuja a salir a la placenta. So it looks like she's good, she's done. I, she's done. I'm pretty sure. How are you doing, Come huh? On. I can do this. Welcome. Welcome to planet Earth. Okay. You. Can you go on? Okay. Let's see if we can find the tea. You're okay. Okay, no. You can, you can go to bed.